Hey, if you're like many Americans who cannot contribute towards a Roth IRA because you make way too much money, this is the episode for you. Today, we're going to talk about how to master the Roth IRA and discussing how to properly do Roth IRA conversions. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jason Matthews. I am President and CEO of Gibson Morrell Wealth Advisors and Matthews Financial Insurance Solutions. Many Americans make way too much money to contribute towards a Roth IRA, but they see the major benefits of having a Roth or money or a tax-free bucket. So there's other ways and strategies we have to do, but we have to think a little bit different and outside the box if we really want to take advantage of putting money in our tax-free bucket. Now, the reasons why you might want to look at this situation is a couple of things and why we want to put money in our tax-free bucket. A couple things. Right now, we see this huge amount of debt in this country. We see currently the shortfalls in our local and state municipalities, and knowing eventually that's going to get to the federal level. We know that also as we retire, we lose two of our biggest tax breaks as U.S. citizens for most of us. Our home mortgage deduction, because we're good, responsible Americans, we get close to paying off our, our mortgage, and we're paying more principal than we are interest. The second thing is a child tax credit. Our kids are grown, they're adults, they're moved out of our home, and we no longer have them as dependents. And at the same time, we lose those tax benefits. So today, we're going to talk about a way and strategy that we can do about it. And the way we can go around contributing towards our tax-free bucket is by doing a Roth IRA. And if you're not familiar with the Roth, Roth IRA, it's a pretty simple thing. Most of us have our money in our tax me later bucket. That is, we get a tax deduction on that money, that money grows tax at first, so we're not paying taxes as it grows. But when we pull out the money and put it in our pocket, we're paying taxes on that money. And what we're simply doing is taking it from the tax me later bucket to tax me never bucket, which means we never see Uncle Sam. We never worry about the IRS, and we don't have to worry about our tax rates down the road. So what we're simply doing is moving money from a traditional IRA over towards a Roth IRA. And that's what a Roth conversion is. But before we do that, there are some things we have to consider. One thing we have to consider is the tax implications of putting the money in our Roth IRA. So when we do Roth IRA tax, uh, Roth IRA conversions, there's a couple of things we have to consider. Here's the first thing when we talk about taxes. We're moving money from our IRA over to our Roth. With our IRA, we never pay taxes from that money from the very beginning. And now we're putting that money in our tax-free bucket. Well, Uncle Sam's saying that is considered ordinary income taxes on that money. So since this is considered ordinary income taxes on this money, the next thing we have to do is we have to consider paying the taxes on that money. Now, if you're below the age of 59 and a half, those taxes on that conversion, it cannot come out, out of that IRA that you convert from a traditional to a Roth. It has to come out of our savings account, out of our own pocket. So it has to come out of our brokerage account or savings account. Another thing to consider when we uh, we have to do that is if you're over the age of 59 and a half, that's great for you. Another thing is since this is considered ordinary income, this could put us in a higher tax bracket. So let's say we're doing a Roth IRA conversion of 100000 If we're making 100 grand a year, we're doing a conversion of another 100 grand. That's 200000 ordinary income. So what we have to do, and we do this all the time in our office in October and November, December, when we're doing tax planning for our clients, is what we have to do at that point is look at we should only be putting as much money as we're able to do without putting us in that tax bracket. So our clients come in, we look at the tax situation for the year and say, hey, you could put this much in before you're in a higher tax bracket. And so those are the things we have to consider. Right. Because if we don't, we could put ourselves in a nightmare where we owe the IRS additional taxes because we put more money um, into it where we don't have to save it for it. And now we have to put ourselves on a payment plan with the IRS or we just put ourselves in a higher tax bracket as well. But there's some major benefits to doing that. First is number one. Right. Like we said, that money would never be taxed again. We talked about it. We're going to keep saying that is tax free income. You never have to see. Number two, there's no R&Ds on that money. Right. And that's the huge thing about it. If you're over the age of 73 in this country, the IRS, Uncle Sam, forces you to take money out of your traditional IRA because they want you to pay taxes on that. But let's say you don't need to take out the money. You don't have a reason to. 
Well, while converting it over to a Roth IRA, we never have to worry about those taxes again or require minimum distributions. So those are a couple of things that we should really consider when we're looking at why we should do a Roth IRA conversion. Now, while you're doing this plan, make sure you're talking to your tax and financial advisor about this situation. Now, if you really like this video, you got something from this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe as we really want to help out the American people plan for the future. As we see it right now, we're in an age of self-reliance. As we do see the, the basic financial necessities or promises that the people are promised to keep will no longer be viable. We see that all across the country right now where with this soaring amount of debt, interest rates have went up and no, the cities cannot serve is tax payers like they used to. Hope this is great information. Like I said, if you like this, hit the thumbs up. Once again, my name is Jason Matthews, President and CEO of Gibson Monroe Wealth Advisors and Matthews Financial and Insurance Solutions.